welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about my waxing experience and this is gonna be really weird it's gonna be a weird video because I'm gonna be talking about something really personal to me um, but a lot of people have been asking me questions about this and I wanted to talk about it in the best way possible because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube don't talk about this kind of stuff and I would like to help you guys as best I can without being I don't know really invasive I think that it has to do with beauty so it might as well be talked about right I'm going to be talking about waxing um, my personal waxing experience why I do it how I do it um, and all that good stuff this is my own personal experience so if you don't like what I'm gonna be talking about in this video or you don't find it helpful or you do something else that works for you then by all means do that I'm not saying that this will work for everybody so um, just keep that in mind while I'm talking about this topic okay all right I've always been hairy I have just I guess I just have the hairy gene I don't know where I got it from because my mom is like smooth as a baby like her leg hair and her arm hair is like non-existent and I'm like how did I not get that gene like are you kidding me I grow really thick eyebrows and long eyelashes which is cool my hair on my head grows really fast which is cool but so does the hair on my body so you know I do have arm hair that likes to wrap around if it grows too long I have knuckle hair I have toe hair leg hair you name it so I've always struggled with being a little monster um since i was about 12. you know at the time a lot of my friends weren't so nice and they used to make fun of me i did have a boy toy at the time who you know was telling me that i was too hairy and stuff like that so i needed to shave so i found some razors in my grandma's bathroom and <laughs> i started shaving and when i tell you i shaved from head to toe i shaved anywhere that i saw the slightest bit of hair after I shaved it, I just became even more of a prickly hairy monster. And so then from then, I just kept finding new ways to get the hair off my body. So I would use Nair and I tried to epilate. I tried to use the little scrubby thing that buffs the hair. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I tried everything and nothing would keep it away like I wanted it to. And it, it never got thinner. It kept getting thicker. Because my mom didn't have issues like that, she didn't really know what to tell me. She was just like, girl, you just gonna be hairy. And I was like, no. And she was like, well, one day when you get older, it'll just thin out. But I didn't get to that point quick enough and I wasn't trying to wait. So I was running track and doing all these things that required me to have smooth, silky legs all the time. <laughs> and I just really wasn't having the prickliness. Shaving every day was not working anymore. It wasn't cutting it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, uh, go get waxed and I found um, this place called the European Wax Center and I was like okay I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna try it out I just want to see how it works and when I looked up the place it said that they had painless waxing um, which is what I was looking for because I really didn't want to get my body waxed if it was gonna hurt too bad but I just wanted something that would be a little more long term that was gonna last me longer than two days I went to the European Wax Center for my first time I believe it was around March of 2009 or 2010 and I went and got my stomach waxed now you guys may be thinking that's a really weird place to get your to get waxed for the first time and I was living in Texas so the weather was a lot warmer there and so I used to wear crop tops a lot and so I wanted to have a smooth stomach yeah I'm like hair shouldn't be here so I'm gonna go get that wax so I went and got my stomach waxed and I had a really great experience with it the girl there was very helpful she was very nice she made me feel very comfortable um, and she explained to me you know why my hair was growing back thicker which I was explaining in a second and then she explained why waxing is better because it won't make the hair grow back thicker um, and the wax that she used they have a wax there and it's like a purple wax um, and it's like a gel type consistency it's not the creamy white stuff that they use at other salons and things like that she didn't have to use muslin strips muslin muslin strips or anything to rip the hair off but it's like purple they get the stick and they slap it on you and then they let it dry for a little bit and then they pull it off and it really is a lot less painful than using muslin muslin strips with the cream wax or whatever so i did find that to be a lot more pleasant it did hurt yes it hurt but it was a lot more pleasant of an experience than other places that i've been to where people who don't speak english like to rip hair out of your body and it doesn't 
all come off and that's when she gave introduced me to the products that I've shown in my nighttime my nighttime routine and my skin face and body routine um, I always use those those products because they work really well for ingrown hairs um, I started using the serum and the exfoliant which I will show you guys in a minute and I found those products to be working for me and the whole waxing thing was working the hair grew back a lot thinner and finer it didn't itch it didn't cause any um you know irritation or anything it just felt great i was like okay i think i'm ready to get a brazilian i was dealing with this issue that when my hair would start growing back after shaving it would be so prickly and it would hurt it would like catch onto my panties and it, it's just like an extra situation okay like it is painful it's not like it just grows back and then you can't feel it no it is itchy and i'd be scratching and stuff it was just it. for for me to shave and then for it to grow back the next day and have those problems that's annoying so i went and i was like okay i want to get a brazilian so she explained to me how it was going to work and the thing i love about european wax center is they talk to you and they kind of keep you calm and at ease while they're doing it so it's not really awkward because a lot of people are like oh my god is that awkward like and I'm like no it's not but I've only I've been going for a long time so it's not as awkward to me as it may be for somebody who's just going for the first time but anybody who's gone they will tell you yeah it's not awkward it's not as awkward as you think because the people there are really nice and they talk to you and try to you know alleviate the awkwardness of the situation they lay you up on a table and you butterfly your legs and they they do the do and the first time was a tragedy only because I got a girl who wasn't as good and I'm gonna tell you guys how to not get a good not get a bad girl because first time I just went to whoever okay I didn't think about who I was going to I just went to whoever was there that day that chick did not do a good job okay she wasn't nice and she just ripped it and I was like Meh it was it was very 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 painful then I went back the second time and I went to the same girl who was doing my stomach because I guess she wasn't there that day that I went to get my Brazilian for the first time um and she was like oh no yeah that girl sucks she got fired don't go back to her next time you come make sure that you ask for a the person who's been there the longest or who um is like a red level or orange level waxer i didn't know that they had that she just told me that so ever since then i've been asking for whoever's been there the longest or whoever has the highest level ranking in that um location if you ever go to european wax center or something like that ask for whoever's been there the longest because they're probably the best but the second time wasn't as painful and i found it to be a lot less nerve-wracking because i knew what was what was coming so i wasn't i was expecting it to be as painful as the last time but it really wasn't um and i did notice that around the second third time going and getting it done it took weeks for it to grow back and i was like what as opposed to shaving every other day getting it waxed once every three four weeks was sounding kind of like a good idea so in about three weeks i went back again and got it done and in another three weeks i went back again and got it done and over time my skin one developed like a barrier to where it wouldn't even like hurt as much and i noticed the hair was growing back a lot thinner it wasn't itchy it wasn't irritating when it was growing back it was there but it, it definitely was finer and wasn't as coarse and annoying um so that's why I kept going back and with that experience I learned that you know me shaving was just too vigorous Nair is really bad for you Nair deteriorates the top layer of your skin not good for your skin anything that smells that bad should not be on your skin anyway it's kind of like putting a perm on your vagina so you probably shouldn't do that so eventually after getting my stomach and my Brazilian done routinely I started to get my underarms done I started going back to get my legs done every once in a while because legs are expensive um, but now I do all that so I go and I get everything now I'm pretty much smooth for a good week and even after that I can wear like I can wear shorts and stuff and my leg hair will actually be there and nobody will be able to see it that's how thin my hair is on my legs now so I'm really liking the you know progression my hair has made since I've been going and getting waxed and I've been doing that for five years.
and I will be getting waxed until the end of time. <laughs> now I know a lot of people are saying, well Vicky, you know you can look into laser hair removal, why don't you just go get laser? I'm afraid of lasers and I've seen a lot of people, darker skinned people, who went and got laser hair removal and it caused really bad scarring. Um, so I'm not about that life. So here are the products that I use. I use the body wash that I've talked about. I also use the lotion from time to time and I really like the serum as well. The serum helps with ingrown hairs while the um, body wash helps to exfoliate the area and make sure that you don't have any dead skin. If you have dead skin and your hair tries to grow back through that dead skin, um, your skin will create a layer on top of the hair follicle and then that's when you get ingrown hairs. What happens is when your hair grows from the root and you shave, you are basically just making all of the hair even. So if you shave a part of your body and you, you know, you can't see the hair on top, but the hair is still underneath in the follicle. So even though you can't see that the hair is still there, it's in there it's in the follicles so all of your hair is basically cut blunt it's basically like getting your hair trimmed when you cut your hair like straight across it's all blunt at the ends right well that's what happens to your hair when you shave it all grows back up evenly so instead of it having like these thin ends it has these sharp blunt ends that are flat and then that's what makes the hair look really thick when it grows back like rah. It's prickly and it's nasty. Waxing pulls out the hair from the root so it grows back normal like a hair strand normally does instead of it growing back blunt at the end and then you can really see it and how dark it is. Um, laser also does the same thing it you know treats the hair at the follicle instead of you know at the surface so you know the hair does grow back thinner and eventually laser kills the follicle and the hair doesn't grow back at all I'm just scared of lasers, so I'm not going to do that. I'm scared of any type of surgery or anything that requires a doctor. I don't like that stuff. So a lot of people are wondering how to, how, like, does it hurt and how to, like, alleviate the pain and help it not be so, like, gruesome when you go. One, I don't go during that time of the month. If Flo is visiting, I just don't leave the house because a lot of things will bother me, but I definitely don't inflict pain on myself. Or let other people inflict pain on me when that time of the month is near because you're more sensitive and your body's more sensitive and you'll be crying so I wouldn't suggest doing that if you know that you're gonna go I would suggest like maybe an hour to 30 minutes before 30 minutes to an hour before your appointment take an Advil um, it'll help you know to calm you down and alleviate some of that pain as well so that your body is not like you know going into shock when you're ripping hair out of it. I'm, I'm the kind of person whenever there's some sort of pain happening, I have to inflict pain on myself while they're doing it. So like if I'm getting waxed, I'll like grab my arm and I'll like dig my nails in my arm. <laughs> That's probably bad, but it helps like me, my mind to like go to that pain instead of going to the pain somewhere else. While it's happening, it's more dramatic. So if you're not thinking about the pain, then it won't be as painful. And that's why the waxers, you know, they're really friendly and they talk to you and kind of, you know, like, how was your day? Girl, what you been up to? Girl, where'd you go? How was your vacation? So now when I go, like, I have a relationship with every waxer that I've been to. Like, my old waxer in Texas, we, like, are friends. Like, cause I talked to her, I went to her for three years. So I talked to her, like, all the time. Like, whenever I go, she knows my whole life story. I just vent and tell her about my whole life. And what happens in the wax room stays in the wax room. Like we just be talking and stuff. Even my waxer here in Chicago now, we she knows my whole life story. We talk about we have girl talk when I go in there. We talk about everything. And I have a waxer in Florida too because I went to that one in Florida. I've been to like almost everywhere. Yeah, I have relationships with my waxers, and I think that's really why I like going there a lot more. Is not only because the service is great, but because they help it to not be so painful because they you build a relationship with them. You know what I mean? So that's what I was just doing. Just be really friendly and don't think about it because it won't be as painful. But over time, you get used to it and it doesn't even like now it doesn't even hurt me anymore. I'm just like, girl, do it. If you guys do end up going to the European Wax Center, this video is not sponsored by them. This is not a sponsored video. This is not, you know, they told me to say this or anything. I've been going there for years, spending my hard-earned money, and I just feel like a lot of people have been asking about this for years, so I just decided to go ahead and make this video. Some of you are probably wondering how much it costs to get waxed. Um, 
and they're probably thinking oh yeah it's cheap because Vicky goes and gets all that stuff done no guys it's not cheap it's definitely not cheap um, I go and get wax every four to five weeks sometimes I push it to five if it's like winter time um, it's not really necessary for me to get waxed that many times during the winter so I kind of just let my hair hang out <laughs> during the spring summer I go every four weeks every four weeks that's once a month I spend about $120 on all my services and that's getting my stomach done full Brazilian they do the butt strip they do my full leg or thing so all of that is about $120 takes about an hour for her to do all of that I don't know these specific individual prices anymore because they have changed over time and I think it varies based on your state too so you guys have to check it out also these products are all $20 each at the physical locations um, because they want you to get wax there if you're going to be using their products you know what I mean I don't think they have them anywhere else but in the US so I'm sorry to people who don't live in the US um, but I'm sure there's somewhere around you that does the same kind of services just be mindful of you know who you go to and things like that I can only tell you my experience and what I know and if you are wondering I have been to other places and I have tried cheaper alternatives you can make your own wax and I'll put a recipe down in the description box to where um, you can make your own wax and do it yourself it's actually really simple I just can't do it on myself because I don't I can't I can't inflict pain on myself like that I went to a place one time where I got my eyebrows done to get waxed and that was probably the worst experience of my life one because the lady couldn't speak English so that I couldn't talk to her that was depressing Two, she did a horrible job like she was doing little tiny pieces at once so that just really wasn't a good experience so this is the only place that I've been to that I really like and like I said I'm not getting paid to say that I just really love them I have a really great relationship with them and I've been going for a long time so if you do plan on going to a European wax center if you have one near you or if you ever plan on going um, just tell them Victoria Logan sent you I don't get paid to say that or anything but I do get like points towards my waxing so you guys should tell them that I sent you that would be cool works at any location also if you go and you start going and you like it you can tell other people that you sent them and then you get points so it's not like I'm just benefiting from this you will benefit from it too also I know that if you go your first time you get um, a free wax so yeah just go in and say this is my first time you get a free wax and tell them Victoria Logan sent you and that I referred you but even if you don't do that, I think you should just check it out anyway, um, just because I think that it's a really great investment to take care of your body. I just, I don't like hairiness. I just don't, just me, that's just me. I know some people are like, well, you were, you, people back in the day used to just be hairy. It doesn't matter. Well, I ain't the people back in the day. I like to have smooth skin. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Right? Bye.